What is OTT? If you ask the question from Wikipedia, this is how it explains the term to us. OTT or an over-the-top media service is a streaming media service offered directly to viewers via the internet. So in this context, we are talking about platforms that provide us some type of content like Spotify that streams audio content or Netflix that streams audio visual content for the users. So basically what they do is to put you in charge of what and when to watch content in contrast with old school TV experience that was passive and one way. But why is it important now? Well, because the advances of streaming technology and problems like the coronavirus that caused the cinemas to shut down have made room for streaming services to grow more than before. They are platforms that have changed the way we consume movies and brought fun to the comfort and nowadays safety of our homes. So we as movie lovers need to have an overview of the pros and cons of each platform to choose the watching experience we like the most. But before we dive in, do subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet, then we will be YouTube friends forever. Now into the topic. There is no doubt that Netflix is the first platform that comes to mind when talking about OTTs. Originally launched for DVD rentals in 2007, Netflix has improved a lot since then, so let's see what kind of experience do we get by using this platform. 4K quality support, which is an A-list feature regarding the emergence of higher resolution screens is what we should think of as the first thing about the platform. Then there are high quality original films like The Witcher that are exclusive to Netflix and are the platform's valuable asset. No commercial breaks is also an important feature of Netflix as it gives you a nice watching experience for your fun time. You can watch your content on literally every device you can have like smartphones, Roku, Apple TV, Fire TV, smart TVs and also have all the family members entertained by the separate library and the interface for children. But despite the advantages of Netflix, there are some pitfalls to consider when choosing the platform. Starting with regional collection limits, which is something that keeps other regions content away from you, unless you use a proper VPN connection. And also, there is an outdated library that makes it difficult to find trendy films and TV shows among them, if they are included. And above all, Netflix is a bit pricey, and that is something that makes you a binge watcher if you decide to watch as much as you have paid for. So be careful, or it costs you your time and productivity. Moving on to the next OTT platform, Hulu is the platform that is more affordable and flexible in some ways. Like the live TV option as well as the on-demand library of content. The possibility to subscribe to other channels like HBO and Showtime is also another nice thing about the platform. Hulu also includes some original shows like The Handmaid's Tale, but they are not as vast as the competitions. And lastly, as I said before, it is cheaper than some other platforms, but with its cheaper price comes some disadvantages. First, its 4K lineup is very limited compared to other platforms, and second, it doesn't support HDR. Its basic plan allows only two devices to stream at the same time, and it includes commercials. So in order to get rid of them, you need a Hulu Plus Live TV subscription at a higher price. Amazon as a company that likes to do things professionally has also done it well in the realm of OTTs. Starting with its unique offer that most subscription based streaming apps don't have, Prime Video allows you to rent or buy just about any film that's available on home video for your personal collection and watch it with the Prime Video app whenever you like it. And that's something to consider as an advantage. Then there is 4K streaming with support for HDR10 Plus playback without charging extra. Prime Video has lots of international titles, especially Hindi language films from India, which I think is a smart investment. But despite all that and some original productions like The Boys, it seems to have a less attractive collection of films in its library. And it's somehow the only downside of this platform. 
Disney, the land of blockbuster franchises, is the next considerable OTT platform that we like to talk about. The first thing to expect from Disney Plus is of course, Disney's archive of classic movies and TV shows that we like, as well as their blockbuster movies like the MCU movies. Then we get the 4K HDR quality as demanded and the sweet no commercial watch time for movie lovers. But if you want more mature content, you won't find it on Disney Plus as their library is filled with family friendly films and PG 13s. And finally, HBO's OTT platform for fans of prestige television, iconic films, and the latest movie releases. The biggest perk of HBO Max is the day and day streaming platform for Warner Brothers theatrical releases, which seems to become a new way of releasing movies in the near future for films like The Matrix 4 and The Suicide Squad, especially due to the new normal caused by the pandemic. It has a library of recognizable collections from Adult Swim, Turner Classic Movies, Sesame Street and more. but. What surprises me the most is that HBO Max does not support 4K and HDR quality for its movies, and it's limited to 1080p. Except for the recent single title, Wonder Woman 1984, which might mean that HBO is going to change that policy. And that's pretty much it. What is your favorite OTT of choice? And why did you choose that platform? Let us know down in the comments. Best of luck and bye.